If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Dr. T. I hope you all are doing fine. Let's study about growth spurts today. So what do you mean by the term growth spurt? So if I look into the dictionary, the meaning of spurt, it means sudden burst of speed or say sudden improvement in speed or sudden kya bolenge isko or sudden acceleration in speed so growth spurt means that in humans there are certain ages and during that ages the growth will accelerate very quickly or the growth will happen very quickly that is the growth spurt now are we talking about the postnatal development or we are talking about the prenatal development so growth spurt means the postnatal periods of sudden rapid increases so after the birth we are talking about it because before the birth if we talk about the prenatal period then there will be around 5000 times increase in the height can you imagine 5000 times increase from the ovum till you know development of the baby and similarly weight will increase 6.5 billion times okay that is amazing okay so it is 6.5 billion times the weight will increase from the ovum till the birth but if you talk about the postnatal changes the postnatal period in the postnatal period it increases only by 20 fold so this will increase this the weight will increase only by 20 fold so let us see the growth spurts we have different periods of growth spurt in males and females obviously because of hormonal differences okay so growth spurt has been divided into three phases so we have the infantile or childhood then we have mixed dentition and then we have prepubertal so we'll see the ages when this happen in the male as well as in the female so let me write down female here and male here so for the female the infantile growth spurt is 3 years and for the male also it is 3 year because no such hormonal differences during that time and in the mixed dentition in the female it is 6 to 7 years and for the males it is little later in life that is 7 to 9 years and then the prepubertal for the female it is 11 to 12 years and for the males it is 14 to 15 years so this mixed dentition this is also called as juvenile growth spurt and this prepubertal it is also called as adolescent growth spurt now what is the clinical significance of growth spurt first of all it will help us understand if the growth is taking place normally or not so if it is if the growth is normal or not the second significance is that it will help you in the treatment planning for example if the child is in his growing phase growing phase then you can go for growth modification you can modify the growth and get the problem corrected so an example would be let me just write it modification for example the treatment of skeletal discrepancies for example class 2 is more advantageous if you carry out in the mixed dentition period especially during the growth spurt okay then we have for example if you are planning for orthognathic surgery then it should take place after the growth has completed or stopped so you cannot do the orthognathic surgery during the growing phase because if you are doing surgery and the child is still growing then some other growth changes might happen and you know what you corrected through surgery will again go in vain so that is the reason i don't know why i made this so that is the reason we are not going for orthognathic surgery in the growing phase then the pubertal growth spurt it offers the best time for majority of cases if you talk about predictability treatment management 
and the treatment time. So that is the best time for majority of cases. Another example is that if we are planning for arch expansion, so arch expansion should be done during the maximum growth period. So it should be done during the maximum growth period. So this was all about the growth spur. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.